Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through error control guys. So in the last tutorial, we have gone through flow control and also we have completed the basics. So in this lecture, that is nothing but line discipline. Okay, so now let us go through, sorry. Now let us go through error control guys. So basically, even we follow all the previous flow control and all those mechanisms, there are many chances of errors guys. So we'll be discussing about the possible errors of stop and wait in this tutorial, don't worry. So error control is a technique of error detection and retransmitting them. So recorrecting them or retransmitting them again. So there are two main methods that is nothing but stop and wait ARQ. So this is uh, rectifying the problems which we face in stop and wait and sliding window. So there are even few problems which we face in sliding window. Those can be rectified by using these two methods. Fine. Okay. So stop and wait. So let us first discuss about stop and wait ARQ. So the problems faced by stop and wait will be rectified using stop and wait ARQ. So I think we didn't discuss about any problems of stop and wait in that lecture. So but now let us discuss about the problems that we face there guys. Okay. So let us assume. I'll be taking a small paper. So let us assume there are to totally three different cases guys. So the sender is sending the data and receiver is receiving the data. So there is a chance that sender sent the data. But due to some technical issue the data has not transferred or not reached to the receiver so means this data is lost right so lost data is a problem and similarly let us assume you transmitted the data and you didn't get the acknowledgement and the acknowledgement was missing somewhere so this is nothing but lost acknowledgement and you send it the data but after a long time like you already you already you keep on sending the different different datas you, you will not be sending right so you are waiting till for this sender is waiting till for the acknowledgement but after a long time like two three hours it came guys so this are the three problems which we face in which we are wasting our time and waiting for the acknowledgement so that is the reason why the stop and wait arq has come so arq so okay so th these are the three definitions what that i have written guys lost data so it is lost somewhere lost acknowledgement it is lost in the middle so now let us go through lost data so sender waits for the acknowledgement and receiver waits for the data for infinite amount of time so this could be a problem similarly lost acknowledgement sender waits for the acknowledgement for an infinite amount of time so that's also a waste of time and delayed acknowledgement after timeout on the sender side a long delay acknowledgement might be wrongly considered as an acknowledgement of the same other say some other package so let us assume you understood that you are not getting the acknowledgement so you thought that okay better let me send it again so now you send it the send it the data but now you got this acknowledgement so there is nothing that this acknowledgement belongs to this there is no Re no, nothing like that so that is the reason why we will be facing this problem so in one uh, solution we will be finding that way also don't worry okay so that will be an issue so that is the reason why we will be this delayed uh, uh, delay, de this delayed acknowledgement will also be a problem so to resolve all these problems we will be using this stop and wait ARQ so stop and wait ARQ is a combination of three things guys that is nothing but stop and wait plus timeout timeout is nothing but to remove the problem that is lost data and sequence number for data for lost acknowledgement and sequence numbers for acknowledgement for delayed acknowledgement so these are the three problems that i have just told you now so three solutions for those are these three things fine okay so first let us go through timeout so timeout is nothing but we will be giving a fixed amount of time to get the return acknowledgement so let us assume you are transmitting a data which will reach the transmitter after 10 minutes and it returns back exactly in 10 minutes so the total time that will be taking is 20 minutes so you will be giving a total uh, timeout time to be 30 minutes so that you will be waiting till 30 minutes of time slot. So if you didn't receive after 30 minutes also, you will be again sending the data. That's it. So here in this situation, the sender will wait for a particular amount of time. Then he will resend the data if it is, if he didn't receive the acknowledgement yet. Fine. Okay. So similarly, by adding sequence number, what will be the advantage? Okay. So here we will be giving the sequence number guys. So sequence number means in this situation let us assume that the data is transmitted there but we didn't get the acknowledgement back so here also here we will be taking in this way so the sender sent the data one will be assigning numbers data one so he gave the acknowledgement so data one is cons consumed by the reader or receiver and he sent the acknowledgement but we didn't receive it so that is the problem with sender right so he again sends the data one package only the same data one with the name so once he finds the data one so he already got it right so that is the reason why he'll not consume it he'll be just discarding it and he'll send the acknowledgement so now we'll be receiving the acknowledgement and we'll be sending the next data packet data two data three like that so here also the sender waits for some particular moment of time so the same timeout concept and he resends the data again now receiver will receive it again till 
this data will be discarded as he already has it. So that is the reason why I hope everyone got a small idea. So now let us go through delayed acknowledgement. So delayed acknowledgement. So now here we will be using, we will be giving numbers for acknowledgements also. So that it will be easy for us. Fine. Okay. So send our A and receive our B. So we send at the data 0. So we got the acknowledgement 1. So we need send the data 1. So we got the acknowledgement 0. Fine. So now we send it the data. Unfortunately, we lost it. So here after some timeout, we will be sending the data again. Fine. So here we will be considering the acknowledgement. So we got acknowledgement 1. So in this way it continues. So now let us assume we lost the acknowledgement. So if we lost the acknowledgement, we will be sending the data again. So we'll be getting the acknowledgement. So this process continues guys. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this stop and wait ARQ. So in the next lecture, we'll be going through, we'll be going through the go back N ARQ. So this is a problem which we will be rectifying from the sliding window guys. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.